All right, ladies and gents, we are on the road once again as we are headed to Sheridan Speedway for the SRX race today. The season finale for the SRX series. This is my first SRX race ever. And uh, to be completely honest, I think I've only ever watched one on TV, and that was at Knoxville last year. So I kind of forgot exactly how it works. Um, I believe the heat races are split into... Uh, like I don't know how much time they have but they're split into two different heats and then they invert the field and it's time based uh, regardless of the fact I'm gonna go I'm gonna watch some NASCAR legends do their thing and uh, have some fun with it of course I'm going because not only the track is in Ohio it's about two and a half hours from where I live really the only reason I am going is because my man Ryan Blaney's racing and not only that his dad, Dave Blaney, is racing also, of course, for those of you that are familiar with the channel. You guys know that I am not only a Ryan Blaney fan, but I'm a Ryan Blaney fan because I grew up watching his uncle primarily race on dirt. And uh, obviously I watched his dad race on dirt from time to time when he was uh, jumping in sprint cars during the week and was uh, racing NASCAR in the race weekends as well. So uh, great to see that. I actually got to see Dave Blaney race last week in the Kings Royal. He made the feature. So sure enough, going to see Dave Blaney on a dirt track again this week. We'll see how he does. Uh, my prediction for the race, I think Ryan Blaney's going to get the win personally. It seems like whenever the Cup guys currently get in, we saw Chase Elliott win last year. I think uh, Ryan Blaney's going to win the race this year. And I've only seen Ryan Blaney win in person once before, and that was at Michigan. Why not at a track in my home state, even though it's not NASCAR? Let's see if he can get the win again. All right, ladies and gents, we made it. Good news is we are here on time. Bad news is there is rain in the forecast tonight, and there is quite a bit of rain. It looks like off in the distance. Hopefully that stuff's already around the speedway. And past the speedway, I really don't know like what cardinal direction I'm in right now, but... uh. Or which way it would be going, because I've never been here before. But, needless to say, let's see.
ladies and gentlemen, back in the car following tonight's action. My first SRX race and also first race here at Sharon Speedway. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good time. Uh, I was having a lot of fun there towards the end, just seeing a bunch of beating and banging going on in <laughs> the back of the pack, the mid pack. It was, uh, it reminded me of a truck series race to be completely honest, but, uh, it's the last race that these cars have to, uh, race in. So I'm not surprised that, uh, you know, they were junking them up knowing that I guess they didn't have to use them again the rest of the year. But needless to say, again, I had fun. Chase Elliott got the win. I don't even know who won the championship. I'm trying to get out of here as soon as possible because I have a two and a half hour drive home. Usually I don't rush out of the races, uh, but in this instance, it's a little bit different because I'm going home, I'm not staying at a hotel, and the fact that uh, I'm commentating the cup race tomorrow on the channel. So a uh, bit of a different circumstance compared to usual. Again, I had fun. Uh, I've been saying that a lot. As far as how it flew, it, it flew by. There wasn't much racing. If there's one thing that I would critique with it, uh, I know other races this year, they've been having multiple series. Uh, the, like the SRX series will be there and then they'll have like late models or something. I feel like they should have had like 305 sprints or, so, you know, dirt late models, something else out there. Uh, to kind of pace the night a little bit better because there was that lull point between the second heat and the main event and uh, the main event wasn't even that long I mean it was maybe 40 minutes so you had 40 minutes and then you had two roughly 8 to 12 lap heat races and that was about it so there wasn't a lot of racing uh, outside of that though I have no other gripes it is what it is it's a nostalgia uh, act and I it tickled my nostalgia bone this weekend I got to see both the Blaney's run at the same point, uh, the same time. Luckily, they got Ryan Blaney back out there for the main event. It kind of stunk. He got taken out in the heat race and probably didn't have a good car the rest of the night because he had a bunch of damage. It looked like he used the same car. I don't think they pulled a backup car at all because you can still see the damage right around the right front when he was back on the racetrack. Uh, Dave Blaney, he spun like twice in the, I don't think it was the second heat. It was the main event. Early in the main event, he ended up having a couple spins. And I think one of them, he stopped on the track at a flat right front tire from what I saw. Got some uh, great footage. You guys got to see all the sights and sounds. I'm on the way home. If anything else happens between now and the rest of the way, I'll let you guys know. But until next time, like and subscribe for more daily NASCAR content. Road trip, more of it, Michigan two weeks can't wait next nascar cup race it'll be two months between this cup race uh coming up and the last one i was at a gateway so can't wait till then see you guys next time